Hi everyone, this is Bill from Lesson Picks, and this week in the webinar for our group members, Lori, our founder, walked through how she uses International Talk Like a Pirate Day in their classroom. I thought this would be great for everyone to see, so I pulled a snippet, and I hope you enjoy it. That, that, is, that is absolutely true. We, we actually had a contest last year, and everything that had uh, International Talk Like a Pirate Day's hashtag on it, we made for free. So um, if you do search in uh, the sharing center for just pirate is probably enough, but International Talk Like a Pirate Day, uh, you'll see lots of free materials in case you have people who aren't Lesson Picks members and you want to uh, use them. For example, here's a pirate bingo and things like that. It is a great um, a great day for speech paths and- Especially uh, working on R. Right, absolutely. <laughs> um, Lori, do you wanna show your deck? Yeah, I, I can just go through some of the activities yep. really quick. Um, I, will, I will make you a presenter. Please do. Okay. I, I thought I was. Nope. Oop. Show my screen. There you go. And I can see you guys. There You're we go. good. <laughs> can you see? Um, I can see your. I can see your screen. Can you see some pirates here? I can. Those are your pirates. Those are your kiddos. Those are my kiddos, but I blocked their faces out, so you can't see them. <laughs> They're kind of freaky looking kiddos. <laughs> we'll move on. Um, but I do have a smart board in my classroom, and Teresa has one in her speech room. And what we can do is we can take those same PDF files and put them up on the smart board. Your kids can do the tracing, the matching, and the different activities using large arm movements. So I really do love that. And for Pirate Day, we use the treasure map, which I use like a visual schedule of the different activities coming up. So the kids can see on our smart board that first we're gonna look through the spyglass and then we're gonna swap the deck. And so they can talk through these as they trace it. So we're integrating the language, fine motor, gross motor and everything together. Um, so forgive me if I go too fast. No, no. Okay. Um, just to show you a couple pictures and ideas with Pirate Day, we, stand on a balance board and look through a paper towel roll for things around the classroom. For my kids that are at a lower level, it's going to be concrete things. I see this, I see that. And Teresa had a good idea for pictures up on SmartBoard so that they can name vocabulary words that we're working on. Um, my higher level kids can use their imagination and maybe be a little more creative with it and develop that. Um, we have Swap the Deck, which is motor planning, where they sweep a ball through a maze. We use prepositions like through, under, over. Um, I forgot to mention that each of these stations around the room are is um, directions in lesson picks and so in visuals. We walk the plank and crash into the crash pad. We shoot the cannon, which means throw the ball at some stickies Here's on the wall. Are you, are, you, are you following along? I am. I just I, I thought it was Teresa's. I was trying to give her credit. Yeah, that's okay. No, go ahead. I uh, might be, or it might be Jill's. I don't know. It, it might have been Jill's. Okay. But um, here, the kids can either find letters, or if they're higher, they could spell the letters in their name. And then at the end of all of the activities that they can dig for buried treasure and take it home. So they're wearing their beads and bracelets and gems and pirate coins. And at the very end, they get to cut and wear it and take it home. So the kids have so much pride on this activity. It is language rich, um, motor development as well. It covers all areas and we're looking forward to it. I hope this has given you some great ideas for International Talk Like a Pirate Day, and we can't wait to see what you're doing in your classrooms.